the earth and space. There are infinite things including space in the universe. The universe is all of the space and time and its contents. It includes planets, stars, satellites, galaxies and all matters and energy. The size of the entire universe is still unknown. We are talking about the observable universe only. The solar system. The sun along with the planets, satellites and other heavenly bodies that are moving around the sun is called the solar system. It is a group of heavenly bodies that are affected by the gravitational force of the sun. The sun. The sun is a very hot ball of gases. It is a star. It is the nearest star from the earth. It is the only star which is visible at day. Due to the very bright light of the sun, other stars are not seen during day. Satellites. The heavenly bodies that revolve around the planets are called satellites. The moon is the only natural satellite of the earth. All the planets of solar system have satellites except the Mercury and Venus. The moon. The moon is the natural satellite of the earth. It is the brightest object that appears at night. The moon does not have its own light. It shines by reflecting the sunlight that falls on it. Asteroids. Asteroids are the minor heavenly bodies revolving around the sun in between the orbit of inner and outer planets. All the asteroids are revolving in their orbit between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. Comet. Comets are heavenly bodies of the solar system made up of gases, dust and ice. They revolve around the sun in very long elliptical orbits. When a comet is passing close to the sun, it gets warm and release gases which is seen as a tail. Stars. When we observe the sky at night, we can see many twinkling objects. They are the stars. Stars are the huge balls of very hot gases. The Earth. The Earth is the third planet of the solar system from the sun. It is believed that the Earth was originated about 4,500 million years ago. During the origin of the Earth, there were no living beings. Life started on the Earth after a very long time of its origin. The diameter of the Earth at the equator is 12,756 km and that at the poles is 12,713 km. The Earth has two types of motion. It is moving around the Sun in its elliptical orbit. The motion of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. It completes one revolution around the Sun in 365 days and 6 hours or 365 and 1 quarter days. The axis of the Earth is not straight. It is slightly tilted at an angle of 66.5 degrees. Parts of the Earth The outer surface of the Earth is made by land, water and air. The Earth has air at its outer surface. The three components of Earth are named as lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Lithosphere The land part of the Earth is called lithosphere. Only one-fourth of the Earth's surface is land. Human beings and many other animals and plants live on the lithosphere. The surface of the lithosphere is not uniform and smooth throughout the Earth. On the basis of the surface of the lithosphere, it is divided into plain, hills, mountains, plateau valley, etc. Hydrosphere. The part of the Earth's surface covered by water is called hydrosphere. About three-fourths of the Earth's surface is made by hydrosphere. Water is found in different forms on the Earth. It is found in solid form in polar region and in the Himalayas. It is found in liquid form in general and is found in the form of water vapor in the atmosphere. Atmosphere. The layer of the air that surrounds the Earth's surface is called atmosphere. Atmospheric air is made by different gases, water vapor, smoke, dust particles, etc. The major gases found in the atmosphere are nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and some other inert gases. Inside the Earth The outermost layer of the Earth is made up of soil, hard rocks and covered with water in most places. It is called the crust. Inside the crust, there is a hot layer called mantle. This layer is very hot and consists of rocks in molten state called magma. The innermost layer of the earth is called core. It has two parts, outer core and inner core. 